Hello everyone, and welcome to Anne's Sleep. My name is Tommy Likatezi. I have the pleasure of hosting speech pathologist and myofunctional therapist, Samantha Weaver. Today we will be discussing facial structure and sleep. Welcome to the show, Samantha. Thank you. So let's talk about the evolution of facial structure. How has this perception of the attractive face uh, developed over the centuries? Um, you know, what is it that led to that? Well, I've always been struck as I've been learning about myofunctional therapy and sciences at what the nobility has, how it's been represented in portraiture. Mm -hmm. And if you go through European galleries, whether you're in the Louvre or other places, the Western face has certainly gotten longer and thinner. Now, what caused elongation? it did directly have something to do with reduced chewing. So a population that was eating meat off bones and as hunter and gatherers were feeding themselves and chewing and breaking things down, you have bone growth and development. Then you have an agrarian society that increases the amount of population because there's more distribution, but mostly because you're grinding food down, you're processing it, and the effect you can see on the human uh, facial growth pattern. There's a great book called The Evolution of the Human Skull, and Daniel Lieberman talks about how the human jaw is evolving smaller and smaller and smaller, while the brain case has been getting bigger and bigger. So you get a larger mm. skull with a smaller jaw, and what that does is impact breathing directly. How does this facial structure actually uh, impact one's sleep? Well, the structure is created through the tongue, and the tongue is like the rudder of the spine. And when the tongue is up in the palate, you will have growth that's widening the face, and growing it forward. Now, when the tongue is low, you have this reduction of forward development and you have an elongation, which is exactly where we are today with human faces. And this smaller oral cavity, you get a much higher airway collapsibility risk and you also get an actual risk for obstruction itself, whether it's the apnea or even snoring, which may lead to apnea. So the anatomical structure is creating less space for our soft tissues, and so we mm -hmm. can't breathe at nighttime. So where does myofunctional therapy play a role in this? So we help people bring their tongue forward, but not consciously. They have to do it unconsciously. They have to release the tongue, learn how to hold it forward, but then neurologically over time, that becomes a habit and that negative pressure of the oral cavity that's created by a lip seal will naturally hold the tongue up. And that's what we really work on as myofunctional therapists. We also help people restore and strengthen their facial muscles and also their coordination. So we improve this oropharynx, which is basically the throat, and we improve the tone so that the, the throat itself has a better propensity to stay open at night and not collapse. Can you give some examples of some of the ways that you do uh, improve the structure? We use all sorts of tricks. Um, part of it is that we actually have to activate muscles in ways that they have not been used before. And one of the techniques is through basic singing techniques, because when you sing, you lift your soft palate, you lower the base of the tongue. And interestingly, anyone who is a singer, I can identify by looking at their structure and their throat. You will see their throat instantly. But when you see that soft palate hanging down, you know that they have a lot more disruption of airflow. So we improve the coordination and tone of these muscles through 
very strange exercises, actually. <laughs> um, we use resistance. We have them do passive exercises where they keep their lips closed. We monitor their sleep position. We have them keep a, a diary of what they're eating. They're, we try to increase the substance of the foods because we're trying to get the body to do what it's designed to do. So harder substance foods, mm -hmm. we get them out of pain, we get them to nasal breathe, and mostly we have fun because you have to motivate your patients to keep them on task. And that's really what I think is the beauty of this therapy is the therapeutic alliance that you build is really empowering. People can really change their anatomical structure and it happens relatively quickly. So their whole life quality can improve within a couple of months. Great. Thank you for coming on to the show. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. The sleep professionals in this video series teamed up with Whole U to spread healthy sleep education across America and were paid for their appearances.